Well, greetings, viewers, warriors with Got That Funk. Welcome. This is a video response to Ghost of Day in Person and her recent video, Hate the Emotion versus Hate the Stigma. And watching her video um, gave me an awful lot to think about. And one of the things that it sort of made me realize is how kind of unbelievable it is, at least from my point of view, that I've never actually talked about this subject yet in the nearly seven years I've had this channel. So I'm going to use Ghost Today's video as a vehicle through which I explore the concept of and the emotion hate, uh, my attitude and experience about hate and so forth. And like I say, I'm really grateful to be able to talk about this because it's kind of central to where I'm coming from as a person in terms of the way I look at the world and myself. So um, first of all, I suppose I should get you up to speed on the part of Ghost Today's in video prior to which we're going to pick up from, right? Uh, Prior to where we pick up from, she was saying that there is such a thing as justifiable hatred. And it's okay to feel hatred when that hatred is justified. And both of those premises I completely agree with. I think it's self-evident that there is such a thing as justifiable hatred. And it's my opinion, not only is it okay to feel that hatred when it's justified, it's okay to feel any emotion if it's a spontaneous, natural response that you can't help. Um, any emotion that falls into that category as far as I'm concerned it's okay to feel it it doesn't necessarily mean it's, the, the emotion is healthy for you or whatever it just means it's okay to feel it because that's part of what you are that's part of being human and you can't be faulted for being human so whether that emotion is hatred or any other emotion now Ghost of the in person says in the video that it's her opinion that uh, everybody feels hatred and that you know we all carry this around with us uh, throughout our lives you know we all have something or someone that we hate pretty much all the time and uh, when she said that you know my instinct was to disagree because I don't personally see myself that way and then she went on to describe how she sees people who fall into that category. So I'm going to play a bit from her video now, which gets you up to speed on where she's coming from. No one's fooling me, by the way. I know that everybody hates. Everybody has things that they hate and people that they hate. It's just that some of us are honest and admit it, and others have too much pride, or I don't know, they don't want to be, they're too afraid that people will label them as hateful individuals for feeling a natural emotion all right so uh first of all once again yeah okay there's definitely such a thing as justifiable hatred and i would agree up to a point with some of what she's getting at here i think everybody has felt hatred at some point in their life and i think you know there's it's probably true that most people do carry around some level of hatred for something or someone most of their life. But I think everyone is a bit of a stretch, more than a bit of a stretch. I don't think that's really true. And I, I wouldn't like to, you know, even guess at ratios because I don't meet enough people to even do that. But my attitude is, you know, there's nothing virtuous about not feeling hatred you know, she seems to be implying that people who say they don't feel hatred are implying that there's some virtue in that. I don't necessarily think that's that's true. Uh, I don't carry hatred around with me, and that's nothing to brag about. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just how I live, and that's okay. You know what I mean? It's. I find it breathtakingly arrogant, frankly, to assume that you have the right to tell everyone else what their emotional landscape is or ought to be you know I just, wow I don't I, that's not where I'm coming from at all you know I, I don't think there's anything wrong with hate when that hatred is justified I do think there's such a thing as hatred which is unjustified and I do think there's such a thing as hatred which is unhealthy for you whether justified or not um, now for me personally I haven't actually felt hatred for I think 2002 was the last time that I can definitely identify that I felt hatred for someone. Um, and yeah, sure, I felt absolutely justified in the way I felt, 100%. And I think that's true about every time I've ever felt hatred, you know. But I dealt with it pretty quick. I think I went through about two weeks or so of intense hatred. 
and you know I had a, an epiphany you know that it was was actually hurting me and you know I didn't want to live my life like that and that I needed to forgive and let go and I did so and you know there's nothing airy fairy about that you know it is absolutely possible to do that to let go of your bad emotions you know you don't have to carry them around sometimes there are emotions that you can't help but carry around granted for me thankfully hatred isn't one of them you know despair I carry a lot of that and that's another thing I wanted to say you know when I look at all the evil shit in the world um, it doesn't arouse hatred in me maybe it should but it doesn't I don't think it should because I don't think that my emotional response to that stuff is invalid and the normal responses that I personally have to the evils that I see in the world don't reach the depth of hatred I, I feel despair and I feel frustration that's what happens to me and again that's nothing to be proud of it's nothing to be ashamed of I'm not deficient emotionally because I don't feel hatred because of that stuff you know quite frankly how dare you imply that there's you know something wrong with people who don't feel that way you know we're not in denial at least I'm not in denial I'm, I you know I, mine is a very examined life thank you very much and I'm not in denial about feeling I you know I don't carry hatred around with me all the time you know I see it as very destructive for me personally it takes up way too much energy for me to hate someone or something and generally speaking I don't there aren't enough things in my life that reach that depth for me so I don't think I have to justify that any more than you should have to justify feeling hatred for something that you feel justified in hating and it's not for me or anyone else to tell you where you should set your lines for what justifies hatred you know I, I think you later in the video listed off some things that you know drive you to hate and you know who the fuck is anybody to tell you that that's uh, invalid you know you're allowed to put your lines wherever you want my lines I guess are considerably deeper than yours uh, insofar as they're harder to reach and that's nothing to brag about it's nothing to be ashamed of either like I said I'm not emotionally deficient just because frustration and despair are the two harshest emotions that most things drive me to doesn't mean there's anything wrong with me any more than feeling hatred means there's something wrong with you emotions are what they are they're natural and when they're spontaneous and justified you really should be okay with letting them be and if they hurt you and you want to get rid of them you can do so you know you can let go of negative emotions it's totally possible to do that and it's not any major achievement necessarily to be able to do that but it is possible and I don't think that uh, I don't know this just the suggestion that uh, you know people like me are somehow kidding ourselves you know quite frankly go to hell you know you don't you don't know that you have you know you have the rights of your opinion but you're blatantly wrong